now we are going to discuss the heart murmurs that are caused by the valvular lesions and the first murmur that we have to discuss is the systolic murmur of aortic stenosis previously we discussed the heart sounds and the first heart sound the second heart sounds and then we discussed the rheumatic uh, valvular lesions and we discussed that due to rheumatic fever and due to some other conditions there are some abnormalities uh, which occur in the heart valves now abnormalities can occur in the mitral valve the aortic valve and different abnormalities will involve different valves some will involve the uh, tricuspid valve some will involve the uh, pulmonary valve now today we are going to discuss the murmur the murmur of the aortic stenosis now aortic stenosis is a very huge topic we are not going into detail of the aortic stenosis but we are just going to discuss about the murmur of the aortic stenosis or the systolic murmur of the aortic stenosis aortic stenosis it can be caused by the uh, rheumatic fever especially in young people and then it can be caused by calcification due to deposition of uh, calcium in the aortic valves and then it can be congenital similarly it can also be caused by a uh, bicuspid aortic valve when there are only two cusps in the aortic valve instead of three now why the murmur of the aortic stenosis is systolic why is it systolic because uh, there is stenosis and we discussed the stenosis and regurgitation in our previous lecture that in stenosis the the, the, the space between two valves the space between two valves is decreased it is decreased so for example if this was the space between the cusps of the aortic valve this is the aortic valve and if normally this is the space when the ventricle is contracting this much space is available for the blood to go out into the aorta blood to go out into the aorta in stenosis in stenosis this space is decreased for example it may decrease to this much now when it decreases to this much it creates a nozzle effect it creates a nozzle effect and we we know that in the nozzle effect the, the, there is a thin stream of water or any fluid and it is going through uh, in a very high pressure now to push the blood through a stenotic small valve what happens is that the ventricle the left ventricle has to apply a lot of pressure now when the ventricle is relaxing in diastole when the ventricle is relaxing in diastole blood is coming normally into the left ventricle from the left atrium so there is no extra sound or there is no murmur but is there is stenosis of the aortic valve or the the space or the area the area through which the blood will move from the left ventricle into the aorta that area has decreased that area has decreased so when the left ventricle will contract the pressure in the left ventricle will increase enormously now it can increase even up to 300 mm of mercury which is too high because there is very little area very, very less area for the blood to move so the left ventricle apply very high pressure and this pressure this pressure is applied is generated by the left ventricle in systole it is applied or it is generated in systole and the in systole the blood move from the left ventricle into the aorta so the murmur of the aortic stenosis is systolic in nature it is not diastolic it is not heard in diastole rather it is heard in systole and what happens why we uh, why we can listen why can we listen a murmur in systole it's because the jet, the jet effect the increased pressure of the blood through small area will create a jet effect in the aorta in the, the the blood that is coming in high speed it will strike the walls of the aorta it will strike the walls of the aorta and the sound the sound will be prominently heard in the aortic area but it can be also felt with the hand when the hand when the palm is kept in the aortic area this can be felt with the uh, palm as well which is basically known as thrill now this sound this sound in the aorta due to the moving jet of the blood it can also be a uh, heard it can also be heard with the help of stethoscope in the neck areas in the neck areas as well and in some other parts of the uh, chest as well but it will be most prominently uh, heard or you can listen through uh, to it in most uh, easily in the second uh, second intercostal space on the right side of the sternum in the second intercostal space on the right side of the sternum and it's because the high speed of the blood that is the speed through which the blood is moving through this aortic uh, this stenosed uh, valve and it is creating some vibration in the aorta which is not only uh, causing an extra sound which is the systolic murmur of the aortic stenosis but it is also generating a thrill which can be felt when the uh, hand is kept on the uh, chest in the aortic area so that's about the systolic murmur of the aortic stenosis and that's how it's basically generated so that's all about the systolic murmur of aortic stenosis thanks a lot for watching the video